circuit. What's up guys, Jason here. So for today, we're gonna to take you through an actual workout. So instead of doing an instructional video, I wanted to take you through an actual workout session uh, today for this video. So I'm gonna train you guys in a circuit training uh, style. So we're gonna do six different exercises, three rounds of that. We'll go a little bit slow the first round because I wanna explain everything to you. Uh, it's pointless for me to just give you the workout. I'm a big believer in educating people on strength training, you know, what muscle group we're training, what's proper posture, technique, form, breathing, um, you know, little tips and tricks to make it easier or tougher. So the first round, please bear with me. I'm gonna go a little bit slower uh, just to explain everything to you so you, you get an idea of what we're doing here. The second round, we'll be able to crank it up, go a little bit faster, it'll be more intense. And then the third round, we'll just go all out and bang right through it. That's gonna increase the, uh, your heart rates, your burn more calories. So a couple things before we start the workout. Number one is I can't tell you what weight to use. You know, everybody has their own different fitness level, uh, but generally you wanna fatigue the muscle somewhere between 10 and 20 repetitions. If you're doing 20 reps and you feel like you got more left in you, you, you have to bump the weight up. So you build more muscle, you build more strength. The more muscle you put on the human body, the faster the metabolism is gonna be. So uh, definitely adjust the weights accordingly and you'll, you'll have a better gauge for that after the first round. Um, and then secondly is there are two exercises that I'm going to be doing off the flat bench uh, behind me. You do not need a bench for this workout. Both of the exercises you can do on the floor and I'm actually going to put a picture in picture and you can do the modified version which I will provide you with in the video. So don't feel like you need a bench. You don't, you don't need a bench. If you have a bench at home and you're doing this as a home workout or if you're doing this workout as a gym, fantastic, but it's not necessary. Uh, the only thing I will say is the first exercise, the chest press, it will reduce your range of motion just a little bit if you're doing it on the floor compared to uh, an actual bench. You'll be able to get a deeper stretch on the bench. So if you have a bench, fantastic. Uh, if not, still do it on the floor. It's just going to reduce the range of motion just a little bit. So, um, so that's it, guys. Let's go ahead and get into the workouts. Uh, so six exercises. First one's for chest. Next one's going to be for biceps, two for shoulders, one for triceps, and then we're going to hit one for abs. Okay. So for the first exercise, we're going to do what's called a dumbbell chest press. You could do this on a flat bench, an incline bench, a decline bench. We're going to do it on a flat bench today. So I'm going to grab my dumbbells here and you're going to grab a seat at the front part of your bench and you want to put the dumbbells on your thighs. You want to put your hand placement right in the middle of the dumbbells. Keep your back straight. You're going to lean back with the dumbbells. Okay. Back flat. Relax your head. Turn your palms forward. Keep your feet flat. And then you're just going to press right over your chest. All right. Control the weight on the way down. So you're coming down to about 90 degrees, maybe just a little bit lower. And then you're going to press the dumbbells up right above your chest. So I don't want you to bang the dumbbells together, okay? I want you to meet maybe two or three inches apart at the top. Control it on the way down, press right back up. So your chest is stretching on the descent down and then it's contracting on the way up. And you're gonna inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. I'm not gonna count reps today because as I'm talking to you, I'm sure I'm gonna lose uh, what number we're on. And most of my clients know I'm a terrible counter <laughs> when I'm giving a workout on Tuesday because I'm correcting form or if I happen to ask them a question, I lose track of the number. So, all right, so just concentrate on your chest. The more you concentrate on the muscle group you're training, the better it's gonna develop for you. So just get the stretch of the chest on the way down, press right back up. Inhale, exhale on the way up. Last one right here, just like that. Okay, just bring the dumbbells up and set them down. Okay, so that's the first exercise. So that's a dumbbell chest press. So second one we're gonna do is called a hammer curl. It's gonna be for your biceps. So you're going from a pressing motion to a pulling motion. Okay, so go ahead and grab your dumbbells. I want you to stand tall, keep your abs tight. Your hands are gonna be to the side of your thighs. You're gonna curl both dumbbells up all the way to the top, control it on the way down. Want to keep your elbows tight to your body. You don't want your elbows flaring out. Elbows tight to the body, that's going to isolate your biceps better. So you're engaging your biceps and your forearms, strengthening those two muscle groups. Breathe out on the way up. 
Inhale on the way down. Exhale right there. Just like that. Another thing you want to watch is when you're doing this exercise, you don't want to swing at the bottom like this. This is creating momentum and leverage. You want to isolate your biceps. Stop at the bottom, curl up with just your biceps and your forearms. Stop and then curl. Okay, I'm going to face you. Let's go for about five more reps. Focus on your breathing. Concentrate on the biceps. All right, so the next two, I want to do two shoulder movements back to back. This will probably be the most challenging part. Not so much the first exercise, but the second one. So this is really called the pre-exhaust method. What I'm doing is trying, I'm trying to fatigue your shoulder by doing the first movement, which is going to be lateral raises. Get your shoulders fatigued. After that, we're going to go right to an overhead press. So by the time you go to the overhead press, you're already tired. You're already fatigued. So you're gonna feel that big time with the second one because the blood's gonna be pumping into the muscle. You're already tired, but you gotta try to push through that, okay? So just do the best you can. This will be the hardest part, okay? So first exercise, lateral raises. Lateral just means side to side. So what you're gonna do, stand tall, keep your abs tight. You're gonna lift the dumbbells up, shoulder level, control it on the way back down to the side of the thighs. You want a slight bend to your elbow. Breathe out, right there on the way up. So as far as the breathing is concerned, guys, if you can remember the phrase, breathe out with effort, that is when you exhale. So a lot of people in the beginning when they're learning weight training and they're confused with the breathing, or I see that they're holding their breath because they're, they're trying to get the form and the technique down and they forget to breathe. So it's harder to lift the weight up than go back down. So you're gonna breathe out Right there, breathe out with effort. That's the hard part of the movement. Let's go two more. Concentrate on your shoulders. Excellent, good, okay. So now I want you to go shoulder width apart. Keep your abs tight. You're gonna bring the dumbbells up, palms forward, and you're gonna press the dumbbells right above your head. Okay, you're gonna control it on the way down to about ear level. And at the top, again, I don't want you to bang I don't want you to bang the dumbbells together. You're going to press up, meet about two inches apart. Let me step back a little bit so you can see better. Abs tight, push hard. Concentrate on your shoulders. Very important you keep your abs tight so you don't hyperextend your back. What happens is when a lot of people get fatigued, they're going to push up and they're going to hyperextend their back. You don't want that, okay? Keep your abs tight. All right, let's try three more. Breathe out on the wheel. One more. Excellent. Good job. All right. So for the next exercise, we're going to hit some triceps. So we're going to do what's called a line tricep extension. Everybody kind of knows it as skull crushers. Funny name to it. Um, so we're going to do this on the bench. But again, this one you could do on the floor. You could totally do this one on the floor. It's not going to compromise your range of motion at all. So I'm going to have you grab your dumbbells. You can lean back on the floor or the bench. I'm gonna move my dumbbells here so I don't fall. All right, so you're gonna grab a seat. So here's a little tip. So when you do these, I don't want you to grab the middle part of the dumbbell. I want you to grab lower towards the bottom uh, calf here, the bottom head of the dumbbell. Because when you, when you bring your arm back, you're really driving through this part right here. All right, so grab the very bottom of the dumbbell. All right, so keep your back straight. You're gonna lean back with them. Press straight up. Okay, so this is your starting position, all right? So from here, you're gonna bend from your elbows, control it on the way down, and then press your weight, uh, I'm sorry, press the weight of the dumbbell straight back up, just like that. Down slow, control it with your triceps, right to the shoulder, and then press right back up. Always control the weights. So as you're doing this, you want to keep your elbows parallel. So your elbow should be right above your shoulder. A lot of people, when they're learning this exercise, they'll make the mistake, your elbow's coming forward like that. You don't want that. So you're just going to go straight down to the shoulder and then right back up without your elbow moving forward. Inhale. 
exhale, let's try four more. Inhale, exhale, concentrate on your triceps. Last two, try to fight through that burn. Build in muscle, let's go, build in muscle, one more. Push hard, there you go, excellent, good job. Okay, very good. So we got one more exercise, so I'm gonna have you guys come down to the floor and we're gonna do what's called a pulsing side plank. So this is gonna be for your obliques, the side of your stomach. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come down and you're gonna have a 90 degree angle with your arms. So your elbow is gonna be below your shoulder, okay? From here, you're gonna bridge your weight up. Uh, I like to keep one foot in front of the other, but you can totally stack your hips, your knees, and your ankles right on top of each other if you want. So you're gonna bridge yourself up nice and high, put your hand on your hip, and then slowly let your hip go all the way to the floor and then press your body weight up. All the way down, all the way up. So you should feel it right down here in your oblique. Just concentrate on that muscle. Let's go for 10. You should feel a big stretch in your oblique at the bottom, right there. Three more. Great job, keep going. One more. There you go. Good job. All right, so now you're gonna rotate and just do the opposite side. Again, elbow below the shoulder, stretch your legs out. And like I said, you can totally just go one leg right on top of the other. I just, personal preference, I like going one leg in front of the other. So bridge yourself up nice and high. The higher you get the hips, the more you're recruiting the oblique. So think about full range of motion, all the way down, all the way up. Just concentrate on the muscle, feel it working. Seven, two, three more. One more. There you go, good job. Excellent, okay, so that's round one. Out of the way. So you guys go ahead and rest for a minute, grab some water. Okay, so let's go. Round two, I'm not gonna talk as much this round, just concentrate on the movement. You're a little bit familiar with it now. So let's try to up the intensity a little bit. So dumbbell chest press, stay tall. You're gonna lean back with them. Palms forward, press over your chest. Let's try for 15 reps. Roll it on the way down. There you go. Stretch the chest. Contracts on the way up. Breathe out on the way up. Inhale on the way down. Exhale on the way up. Eight. Good job, guys. So there's ten. Let's get five more. Don't do that fatigue. Building muscle. Let's start building the body you want. Let's go. Two more. One more. There you go. Excellent. All right, very good. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the hammer curl, bicep curl. All right, stay tall, elbows tight to the body. Keep your abs tight so you don't use your back. You wanna isolate your biceps and your forearms. the biceps engaging. Let's go. Train hard. Come on. Five reps. Let's go. You guys are doing great. Keep it going. Two more. Excellent. Good job. And sit it down for five seconds. So we got that shoulder combination next. We're going lateral raises right to overhead press. Let's see if we can get 12 of each. Okay, here we go. Concentrate on your shoulders. Control the weight on the weight out. Very 
reach up. You should start to feel the heaviness in your shoulders. That is perfectly normal. That's just blood being pumped into the muscle. Make it tighter, make it stronger. Get better results. Last one. There you go. Good job. So let's bring it right up to that shoulder press. Start back for you guys. Do 12 reps. Come on. Great job. Come on. Keep going. Eight. Two more. There you go. Excellent job. It's not easy. Good job. Dumbbells out of the way. Okay, so we got that tricep, the line tricep extensions next. We have dumbbells. Now you want to grab the bottom part of the dumbbell, not in the middle. Lean back with them. Press straight up. Get your starting position. Control it on the way down. You want your elbows parallel. All about isolating the muscle. Keep your elbows parallel. Good job. Focus on those triceps. Let's try four more. Two more. Last one. Excellent. Very good. All right, guys. Doing great. Almost done with the second circuit. So we're gonna hit the ground. We're gonna get 10 pulsing side planks. Elbow below the shoulder, 90 degrees, press up. You can put that top hand on your hip. If that's too hard, by the way, you can keep your hand down for support and do it that way. It is more advanced to put the hand on the hip. Go. Concentrate on the oblique. Seven. Just one more. There you go. And you may feel it in your shoulder as well, maybe a little bit in your tricep. It is somewhat of an upper body uh, workout at the same time. Okay, bridge up nice and high. Full range. All the way down, all the way up. Great job, come on. Excellent workout today. One more. There you go. Good job. Okay, second circuit down, we got one to go. One more circuit, round three, one more. Back to the chest press. You have your dumbbells, have a seat, you lean back with them, relax your head, palms forward, press over your chest, control it on the way down. So there are many variations to these dumbbell exercises. All of them have many variations. That is the beauty of free weights. There's not just one way to do these exercises. So. Many different ways to do a chest press. Many different ways to do a curl, a lateral raise, a shoulder press, side planks. Lots of options. All right, inhale on the way down. Breathe out right there. Just got three more. Last one. Excellent. So we're going to go back to the hammer curl. All right, stay tall. Keep your abs tight, good posture. Pull hard. Stop at the bottom. No swing, no momentum. Isolate the bicep. Great job. And almost done. Keep it going. You guys have done fantastic. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you love the workout. Hope you do it weekly, if not a couple times a week. We got three more. 
One more. There you go. Excellent job. All right, 10 seconds. Shake your arms out a little bit. So we got that double shoulder movement. Lateral raises, overhead press. Let's see if we can get 12 of each again. Keep tall, little bend to the elbow, coming up to shoulder level. Down slow, control the weight. Come on, halfway there. These last three, let's go down slower. Real slow, two more. Burn the shoulders out. One more, real slow. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Nice job, very good. Okay, ready, here we go. 12 reps. Come on, guys. Four more. Keep going. Last one. There you go. Excellent job. Okay, we got two more movements and then we're done. So, skull crushers, triceps. All right, grab your dumbbell. Bottom part of the dumbbell, lean back with them, press straight up, keep your elbows parallel, control it on the way down. Always stay under control of the weights, guys. Fantastic. Come on, we're almost done here. Go for five more. Focus on those triceps, fight through the burn. Let's go, fight through that burn, come on. One more. There you go. Excellent job. All right. Side plank, here we go. 10 reps, guys, in a strong, 10 reps. Bridge up nice and high. Way down, pop the obliques, pop the hips all the way up. Come on, fight through that fatigue. Let's go. Seven, three more. All the way up. There you go. Great job. Okay, last set. reps. Concentrate on the muscle. Three more. There you go. Mission complete. Thank you guys. Great workout. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please leave me a comment. I'd love for you to subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, and please follow me. Thank you guys. Great job.